Have you ever wondered how a miniature circuit breaker works? This three minute video breaks it all down. What an MCB is, its internal components, how it switches, and how it protects against faults. Let's get started. A miniature circuit breaker, or MCB, is a key component in electrical systems. It is a self-operated switch that automatically switches to prevent damage from short circuits and overcurrents, ensuring safety. When an MCB trips or switches off, it is responding to an electrical fault such as an overload or short circuit. Let's break down what happens inside step by step. MCBs are designed to protect against two primary types of faults. Overcurrent condition, a moderate overcurrent to last for some time, and a short circuit, a very high current surge occurring almost instantly. Inside an MCB, two key components are responsible for detecting and responding to these faults. The first is the biometallic strip, that's for overloads. The second is the electromagnetic coil or solenoid, and that one's for short circuits. In an overload, the electrical current gradually increases beyond the breaker's rated capacity, but does not spike suddenly. The biometallic strip inside the MCB is made of two metals with different expansion rates. As the current flows through the strip, it heats up and bends due to the unequal expansion of the metals. Once the bending reaches a critical point, it activates a trip mechanism disconnecting the circuit. In a short circuit, the current rises very quickly, off to thousands of amperes within milliseconds. This surge creates a strong magnetic field in the solenoid coil inside the MCB. This powerful magnetic field rapidly moves a metallic piston or plunger inside the solenoid. The piston forcibly triggers the trip mechanism instantly opening the circuit. This entire reaction occurs in microseconds, ensuring the circuit is disconnected before severe damage occurs. Regardless of whether the trip is caused by the bimetallic strip overload, or the solenoid short circuit, the trip bar inside the MCB is engaged. The trip bar moves and releases the latch that holds the contacts together. The main contacts separate, instantly stopping the flow of electricity. A small arc forms between the separating contacts due to the sudden break in current. As the contacts open, the electrical current attempts to keep flowing, creating an arc. The MCB has an arc chute, a set of metal plates designed to capture and cool the arc. The arc is split into smaller sections and dissipates safely. This prevents damage to the MCB and other electrical components. The MCB handle moves to the off position, indicating that it has tripped. No more current flows, preventing damage to electrical devices and reducing fire risks. After identifying and addressing the cause of the trip, an overload or short circuit, the breaker can be manually reset. When switched back on, the latch re-engages, reconnecting the internal contacts and restoring power. Let's break it down one last time. In an overload situation, the biometallic strip heats up and bends, triggering the trip mechanism. This takes seconds to minutes. In a short circuit, the solenoid reacts instantly, moving the piston to trip the breaker in microseconds. No matter the fault, the result is the same. The MCB trips, the contacts open, an arc forms, and the arc chute safely extinguishes it. This fast and precise process keeps your electrical system protected from dangerous conditions. Want to drive deeper into miniature circuit breakers? Explore our white papers and blog for detailed insights at c3controls.com.